Hey everyone, a little update with the cruise. As you know, we were meant to be going to Mystery Islands, all that sort of stuff. Because there was a cyclone, we ended up having to go to Tasmania. And I got off the boat for five minutes and came straight back on because I hated it. The one thing that I was like holding on to was the fact that we were going to spend an overnight in Sydney and I'd be able to catch up with some friends and go surfing and actually do what I came all this way for. Just found out that that's not happening either because it's too windy. So we might be able to go there tomorrow. If not, we're just on here. Welcome to Hobart. As you can tell by the looks of things, it is freezing. Absolutely freezing. And all I have packed is 30 different pairs of bathers and skirts and dresses. On arrival into the tropical paradise known as Hobart, I got off the boat and wandered through the lovely puddles and freezing cold rain and also looked at some steam engines too because that's totally what I signed up for with my day trip to paradise. I don't really know what to say at this point in time. Don't this tree is the second most interesting thing I've seen because it's nice and wet. I'm going to go back to the boat. I hope you're enjoying the lovely tropical music as we ventured our way back to the boat because the islands were just too pretty for me to stay there. Like I loved the feeling of the sand in my feet. Um, anyway, then I looked at the, the view actually was quite nice. Then I had lunch and watched these pirate ship things sail about. I have no idea what was happening. And then I hibernated in this egg chair for about two hours reading a book and crying. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I never thought. I'd be able to make this. We made it, guys. We really made it. I've never been so happy. Um, we obviously couldn't pull into Sydney that first day because it was so wavy. But I can't believe we made it. I'm getting off, guys. I'm getting off. Wow. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this. Ignore that light. Snorkels. I've been sitting in the wardrobe all week. In you go. Drone kit. In the bag. Chest strap, head strap. In the bag. GoPro. I woke up at 10 a.m. because the other night, everyone got invited into the penthouse suite to continue on the party. And I was asleep. But tonight, sleep is for the week. Bondi now and go surfing. <laughs> so I'm just going for a bit of a walk now and then I'm going to meet up with some friends who live in Bondi. good it feels to touch sand oh my gosh i have found the infamous lifeguard boards
such a good day. Oh, I finally had a good day. I went to Bondi, obviously, as we saw, and I met up with some friends. You might have seen them on my Instagram. They're from Argentina, and they're into, like, videography and all of that. So, just had a lot of fun. So, the plan for tonight is it's formal night again, so I'm going to dress up. I'm going to wear the yellow dress that I wore last time. Get some photos, and then when we leave, I'm going to join the last tender back to Sydney so I can do, like, a little night cruise. I'm ready for formal night, and just quickly, look at this. The boat's leaving. Bye. I'm going on a joyride by myself back to Sydney. This right here was one of my favorite moments of the whole trip. So I convinced the guys working the tender to let me on and just go for a joyride back to Sydney so I could see the lights. It was so cool. I was the only one on the entire boat thing. Um, the staff was so friendly and they were literally offered to take videos for me. I didn't even ask. It was just so nice. Like it was perfect. It was quiet and it was just the best views. Like you don't get these sort of views every day in Sydney. And then even going back and seeing the ship at night, like it is insane. It was so pretty. And I also just couldn't believe that I was on the thing by myself. I just went on a joy ride to Sydney and back. That was so cool. Shout out to the guy at Captain Cook Cruises. It was very friendly. Had a great chat with one of the workers, took some videos but I'm going to meet up with some people soon when they finish dinner and we're going to take some photos and I'm going to get out of these shoes and then it's the 70s night tonight so I mean I don't really know anything from the 70s oh it feels good to have a good day but yeah I just want to have fun like tomorrow is my last full day so I want to make the most of it and tomorrow's oh I'll do some filming tomorrow because it's Valentine's Day Ooh. I've never in my life had a nice Valentine's Day so we'll see what happens tomorrow Here's a quick little rundown of some of the nightlife they have on board. This is seriously the best ship for nightlife. They've got silent discos, performances. This one here is called Star Water. I saw this three times when I was on board because it was that good. They just make like the best productions that I've ever seen on a cruise ship. There's also like hypnotist, magic shows, karaoke, all of that. So there's definitely something for everyone on board at night. Now, obviously, I was by myself on Valentine's Day, but I actually had a really nice day. Got myself a nice breakfast, had a view. I did a towel making class with some friends. And then I was going to go for a swim, but the pools were shut in the morning because it was just so wavy. But then it was all right and things opened up and there was a sexy man competition. Um, this was kind of disturbing, but it was funny. Everyone was just by the pool day and I just sat there like literally for five hours going in between the pool and spa. Um, got myself some lunch. They had a massive Valentine's Day cake. And I went to a Valentine's Day concert by myself. Happy Valentine's Day. Today I've done nothing. I'm so tired. Oh, <gasps> well, I did a dance class in the morning. And I just literally was by the pool all day. And to top things off, I'm having an allergic reaction to something. You can't really see it, but in good lighting, like... There's all these red bumps all over my chest and it really, it's itchy and it hurts. So tonight is my last night on the cruise. In all honesty, I'm okay with that. Tonight, final night is an 80s night. So I'm going to have a lovely romantic Valentine's Day dinner by myself. I'm FaceTiming the hedgehog. Say hi. Hello. She's having a Valentine's Day dinner by herself. Look at our solo legend. started i'm kind of gonna miss this place this is really fun what a trip honestly as we all know it didn't go the way as planned but last night was actually kind of good it was out till what 2 30 a.m but it was um 
good fun like still meeting people that's what i love about cruises it's the people that you meet like you don't meet this many people like in any other holiday but yeah i've got to go get breakfast now and then get off and i'm meeting up with some friends from my last cruise so i'm excited for that i'm gonna be posting heaps of like reels and tiktoks they're all in the description as well. I've started posting more on TikTok now just because I feel like that's kind of the where, like the most popular platform now. So yeah, there'll be some more footage there that I haven't put in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I apologize that it was not the cruise video that we anticipated for so long. But anyway, still was a good time and absolutely love this cruise line. Like, if you're young and gonna go on a cruise, Royal Caribbean's the way to go. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, and stay tuned because I'm pretty sure my next video is going to be Harry Styles!